Hello Vinyl Community, Bradley here. It is, a, it is a Saturday morning, a gloomy winter Saturday morning. Uh, <clears throat> just found a couple packages on my doorstep. So I went out and uh, brought them in the house. Uh, I got some VCLT, which I will get to in a little bit. Uh, first of all, I have a riddle for all you listeners out there. Uh, the riddle is, and it's true, uh, about a month ago I bought a musical instrument, which I've never played before, uh, from Sweetwater Sound, and uh, so I got it, and my friend Bob stopped over a couple weeks ago, and he asked me if I had messed around with it, you know with my new instrument and I told him my exact words were uh, well to be frank Bob I haven't touched it in three weeks which is also true uh, I have not touched it in three weeks but I practiced every day on this instrument so my question is <laughs> What instrument did I buy? So if you care to uh, tell me your answer in the uh, comment section on this video, go ahead. Okay, let's get back to this video. Uh, like I said, I got uh, went outside and there were a couple packages. And one was some VCLT, which I didn't realize it was going to be this quick uh, and I saw who it was from and I thought boy I want to make the, a video about this you know while there's enough light and uh, so I had to take a shower to get cleaned up for this uh, video <laughs> so thanks Luke <laughs> uh, the VCLT I got is from Luke Siam. Uh, if you're sus subscribed to my channel, you are subscribed to his probably. Uh, the last name, his uh, YouTube name is Luke S C I O M. That's what. That's the handle he goes by. So, anyhow. This is what I got. Seems kind of hefty. There must be a couple in here. So let's open this up with my new knife that my cousin got me. Now I do know, and Luke has, uh, in his some of his video, videos, He's been very kind to me and my channel, mention, mentioning me a few times, uh, and I really appreciate that. So, uh, let's see what we got. Wow, there's quite a few in here. Okay, the first one is I will read it after I show it to you <laughs> uh, I am into jazz quite a bit so and this is uh, New Orleans Sweet Emma and her Preservation Hall jazz band oh really well that's cool it's got the uh, Apparently, it was pressed in 1964. Uh, let's see what label it's on. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the uh, in the darkness. Well, it's on the Preservation Hall label. So, uh, cool. Cover looks really good shape. 
as the record also. So thank you, Luke. Oh, okay. I know he told me about this. Uh, I showed a uh, modern jazz quartet album, and I've got uh, I've got a few of theirs. Uh, and I know Luke really likes this one, Pyramid. And I've heard of it before, so I'm really, really happy to get this. This was released on Atlantic, uh, which Modern Jazz Quartet, they spent the majority of their career on uh, Atlantic Records. Nice old uh, inner sleeve there. So, uh, very cool. Thank you. Okay, got another one here. Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. Okay, uh, and he knows I'm a Beatles fan, of course. Uh, this looks like a 2LP set. The Beatles Live at the Star Club in Hamburg, Germany, 1962. I can read that backwards. <laughs> My camera reverses everything. Uh, this was an import from uh, Jim. Includes 13 never-before-released Beatles tracks. Now that will be really very interesting it was on the what was it linga linga song records label so uh well it's got twist and shout mr moonlight taste of honey uh besame mucho uh roll over beethoven i saw her standing there hippie hippie shake Sweet Little Sixteen. Wow. And apparently this was pressed in 1977, according to the, uh, according to the label. So, and this is a two LP, two LP uh, release. So, thank you very much, Luke. And he's got one more. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I never had this. Uh, another Beatles. The Beatles rock and roll music. I remember seeing this in the uh, stores when it came out. I'm not sure. It was probably mid-70s, I think. Uh... I believe when it came out because I always I heard other people comment it's like I would like the record but the cover I don't know I don't think it did the Beatles justice uh, and this is also two LPs um, for the label it's got a glass of coke I think this was, uh, yeah, it, it was released on Capitol. I mean, it's a, it's a true release. Um, oh, it's got some really good songs on here. Back in the USSR, Helder Skelter, Hey Bulldog, which I do not have. Get Back. Then on the other side, got some early stuff. Twist and Shout, you can't do that. Um, so, um, kind of a wide ranging, uh, it covers their whole career pretty much. They have early stuff and they have uh, late stuff on here. So, wow. This is nice. It's going to take me a little while to uh, listen to these. <laughs> but like I said, it's crappy outside today. 
I'm not going to do much. I'm not going to do anything outside anyhow. So uh, I'll listen to records. So uh, I really appreciate that from Luke. Um, very, very nice. And he's uh, said wonderful things about my channel. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, and Luke, I will... It's going to take me a little while to get back with you, but uh, rest assured, I'll uh, I'll return in kind. Uh, I'll I got a couple ideas. <laughs> I've been thinking about that. So uh, what can I say? Thank you very much. I appreciate this greatly. So and. Also, remember the riddle. If you think you know the answer to that riddle, leave a comment on this video. So, this is Bradley. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks, Luke. See ya.